Hello awesome people of YouTube, welcome back to game number 5 between the Ukraine and Norway as part of the Nation Wars number 3, 2015-16. This is going to be Acer Bly vs Liquid Snoot, game number 2, but technically game number 5 of the series. Liquid Snoot gets another chance to basically redeem himself and win it for his home team. So as before, Liquid Snoot, he's actually representing Team Liquid and Norway in here, and Bly representing Team Acer and the Ukraine. So if the Ukraine wins this game, they will be for continuing on with, with the next round and knocking out Norway. If they lose, Norway will continue and Ukraine will lose. Sorry, my mistake. If they lose, then there will be another two games where the same thing can happen really. So Norway needs to win three games in a row, which includes this one, game number six, and game number seven, to win. Whereas Bly just needs to win this one game. So it looks like a bit of difference in the builds. Bly has opted to go for a spawning pool first, whereas Snoot has decided to go for a hatchery first. So a bit of a difference here. Gonna be played completely different actually, because if you think about it, Bly is going to be putting the heart on at the start, as you can see, does discover there's no base here as of yet. So he hasn't scouted out yet, but he is, of course, rushing out the Zerglings, so it's a bit of a risky move to do in a 4 player map. As you can see, Bane Nest already going down, so Bly trying to end this very, very quickly, it seems. Not really interested in any other tech right now. So is sending his Zerglings across, actually. That's a little bit unfortunate. Now, once this Overlord crosses path with this Overlord, they're going to quickly be turned the other way. There we go. He does indeed see that. So he's going to probably start going towards this direction instead. And at the moment, it does look like we have six Zerglings on the way for Snoot. There we go, four are on the field. There's four more on the way. He's producing a bunch of, of Zerglings right now. He knows that something is up. He sees that there's no expansion, so he's probably expecting the, the early rush as well. Now look at the amount of Zerglings that are coming out of Bly right now. I need to swap this around, by the way. As you can see, he does make his own Baining Nest. I don't know if it's going to be up in time. But it does appear, huge Benny boss going down here, there we go, so many Zerglings taking out, and it looks like Bly has managed to defeat Snoot here a lot earlier than he, than Snoot had hoped. Takes out pretty much everything, manages to take out a Queen for free as well, there is no units right now here at all, starts to work on the middle line, goes for the gas first it seems. I wonder, is he going to try to take out these Bailing Cocoons, it doesn't appear that he's interested in them. Ooh, manages to cancel one, cancels the other one, and there we go. All of these drones starting to quickly get them taken out. A drone's taken out at this point. And the aggression just continues. Snoot is not able to do anything. He doesn't have any income, and there we go. GG has been called. And three and a half minutes is all it took Bly to take Snoot out. Game number two and game number five. Very well played here. And again, one of those toxic Zerg versus Zerg games. So it feels almost unnatural to do an outro for a video that lasted about three and a half minutes because of course it was a Zerg and Bailing Rush, or Zergling and Bailing Rush. So that's pretty much it. I hope you have enjoyed this series. There was mostly Zerg versus Zergs there as you saw. Seems like both Norway and the UK just absolutely love Zerg. So that's pretty much it. Ukraine wins this one and uh, Norway has lost. So that's it. Hope you enjoyed this. See you guys in the next series. Good luck. Bye bye. Take care.